guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a full face trying on new products. Um, I have a lot of stuff, and I was, and there's a lot, of, there's a lot of things that I haven't tried yet. So I was like, let me go ahead and try them and tell y'all the tea about them. I don't want to do too much talking, so let's just get right into it, guys. So I'm gonna start off by using the Elf camo concealer now this is not new okay but i had tart shape tape i'm actually gonna use this kylie one because it's the one i can find i had tart shape tape don't know where she went so um i wanted to do a full face of like basically like newer makeup that i'm trying so this one is newer too this is sand uh in the kylie concealer it's whatever like it's nothing crazy I got it because it was on sale at Ulta for like five bucks. By the way, yes, I'm missing a nail, okay? Don't ask me how or why. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. So we'll deal with her for now. We'll just ignore her even though she's a little bulky with the band-aid. But yeah, so this concealer I think is good for like an eyeshadow base. It's nothing crazy. It's really watery. And I don't really like too watery of concealers. You guys see that I use like the e.l.f. camo or like part shape tape and stuff. So you kind of get an idea of the consistency that I like. And this is the total opposite. But it's not bad. Especially if like something is too drying. I can go in with this and kind of give some dew. So I mean... I guess it works. So now I'm going to go into the eyes. So... I've been holding onto this for so long, but I'm so excited. So I'm trying the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. I haven't tried any of Chris and Dominique's um, line, and I got this one and the Latte Palette. But I wanted to do something different today, something pink. So here is how she looks. She's so gorgeous. This blue is calling my name, but I'm basically going to be really using Astrid Lust and Lucid Dream, mainly just Lucid Dream, and even a little bit of Lunar Eclipse, which is that orange, because this palette is gorgeous so i'm gonna start off with lunar eclipse but i really want this look to be really pink but i'm gonna add this into the crease i have to say i like this orange shade i think it's so pretty and you could literally wear it on its own it's such a pretty shade Sorry if you hear my dogs barking in the background. They're a little crazy, but I still want to go in with pink. So I'm going to go into a lucid dream, which is that pretty hot pink. And I'm putting that everywhere in the crease and also all over my lid. So I'm going to be packing it onto the lid and blending it with the lunar eclipse shade to create a nice pinky tone. That's gorge. That's gorgeous. It's so pretty. And the shadows blend so good together. There is fallout, but the shades are working, so I don't mind the fallout. Because it's nothing crazy at all. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. This is gorgeous to me. I'm very happy because this is exactly what I wanted. So I'm happy with that Kristen Dominique girl. You know what you're doing with your shadows. And it's just such a pretty color scheme. At the end I think I'm going to go into Eternal Light and use that on the like inner corner and stuff. But I want to kind of get through the face first before I do that. So let's go ahead and do that. I have this Travel Size Laura Mercier, the tinted moisturizer. And then I also have the Cover FX uh, Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know. The Cover FX one is in the shade Tan, and the Laura Mercier one is in the shade 4W1 Tawny. I kind of feel like using the Laura Mercier one because I don't I have another Laura Mercier product that I'm going to try out, so I might as well. So I think I'm going to use this one to kind of see because I'm quite intrigued, actually. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Okay, a lot comes out. That's good. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Um, Duo Ended Complexion Duo Brush. And I'm just going to add that. I 
it has a nice scent to it. It's a tinted moisturizer, so I don't know what to expect really for the coverage. It has a uh, broad spectrum SPF 30 in it. I just realized I went straight in, but it's fine. I didn't use a primer, but that's okay. I don't always use primer if I'm being quite honest, but today would have been a good day to use primer. I'm gonna take the rest and kind of go in with the beauty blender. So, natural skin tint. It blurs imperfections with the sheer hint of coverage. Now, as you can tell on my channel, if you watch me, I love full coverage, okay? I'm a full coverage girl. But this is looking really pretty on my skin. Like, it literally looks like my skin, but better. And I'm kind of happy about that, actually. It helps prevent sunburn because that's SPF. Cool. Uh, you could do it for a dewy, no-makeup look, but today we're going to be going full glam but that's fine but this is wait this is gorgeous on the skin i'm gonna save this to use for another time i really like this and i'll try out this cover fx one in another video or if i try it out i'll let y'all know this is pretty wow this is really pretty hmm like i don't know it does provide sheer coverage like that is correct but it just looks i don't know i look I like the way it's looking. I really do. Okay, so for the heck of it, because I don't use it all the time, I'm gonna go into the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer and Sand. I didn't wanna use the same products that I always use because I wanted to go in with like my e.l.f. camo, but I wanna see how like this reacts with certain products because maybe I can go for like a more dewy look today. I hate the way this looks. I like doing my eyeshadow first because when I blend like my concealer up, it helps shape like the shadow. I think it's like so pretty. I'm gonna go back into the complexion brush to blend out the forehead and anywhere else that didn't get blended. So so far, I can I'm sure you can tell I look more dewy than I normally do, but. That is the look we are going for today, you know, with the products that we're using. And I mean, it's pretty. It's really pretty. Hmm. I might have to go get that full size of the Laura Mercier. I like to cover my lips. I don't know why, because I always obviously like take it off before I put lipstick on. So I don't know. I'm weird. Now I'm going to go into my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso, and I'm going to go ahead and cream contour with that. I think that this look calls for a nice cute cream contour, and I love these concealers to cream contour. They're so easy to use, and it's just a nice formula, and they're like $2.99, so you cannot go wrong with it. And I've used these before on my channel. I just don't think I have in a while or like I couldn't find it anymore. So I just got new ones. I also got a white one because I wanted to see how like priming my eyes with a white concealer would go in regards to like makeup looks. So we'll be seeing that soon. I'm gonna use, no, that one's more for powder. I'm gonna use this dense tart brush and we're gonna blend out. By stippling and pushing in. I think Espresso is like the perfect um, contour shade because it's not too deep to where it looks like muddy, but it's not too light to where it looks ashy on me. It's literally like the perfect shade. And it blends in like so flawlessly with everything like look at that everything is blending so flawlessly the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer the Kylie concealer and the LA girl pro concealer is like a match made in heaven no lie guys no lie I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier translucent powder I have a mini one 
I'm gonna use that to set I know I'm probably more of like the translucent honey and I definitely do want to get that but I don't have it on hand so I'm gonna just use what I have because I do like the formula of this I've used it in the past to take this dense Sonia Kashuk brush and kind of just push in especially because sometimes translucent can leave a white cast on me I like how I can take the product on this brush and really control how much is there because it doesn't look too pale or anything. my skin looks flawless wow guys wow guys i'm quite shooketh i me i'm quite shooketh i'm gonna go ahead and go into my sephora micro smooth powder which i've introduced on my channel i'm gonna take a little bit and i'm gonna go over where i contoured because i like to powder everything now before i would just kind of you know go in to bronzer right after and I'm also going to wipe away any excess translucent powder with this but with wearing a mask you'll literally feel it like stick to your skin and it's like the most disgusting feeling in my opinion so I'm just like let me go ahead and set oh we're looking good so i don't have anything new i'm just going to go into my beauty bakery neapolitan palette and use the contour shade quite lightly cuz it's a little deep but I do want that bronzed look as well, so. Then we're gonna go slightly on the nose. I think this is coming together like really beautiful and it's kind of making me happy. I was kind of scared, I was like, Tinted moisturizer? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna take this new ColourPop pressed blush. This one is Juice Bar, I believe. This is from like one of their newer collections. I don't know which one they got a lot. No shade, no tea, but I'm gonna take this wet and wild contour brush and I kinda wanna go ham with the blush. I don't know why. Like sometimes when like kind of like how kylie jenner does it but i see it more on like youtube where people really go ham with like the blush on the apples of their cheek i think it's such a pretty look and it really makes you look like sun kissed too so we went for that today can you tell <laughs> we're gonna go back into the eyes and i'm gonna go into this la girl auto pastel dream auto liner this is in the shade baby pink i'm so excited for this so let's see i'm gonna take it across the whole water mm, we'll see i normally like to use white so i don't mind how subtle it is so i'm pretty happy with that i'm gonna go into some mascara i'm gonna use my lancome lash idol love this look i feel like i look like a little like princess i don't know i mean i feel like it's because i have a high pony with like the pearls but i'm gonna wipe off the excess product on my lips now i'm gonna go into my elf liquid liner and emphasize my beauty marks boom boom i'm gonna take my maybelline fit me powder and this big fluffy brush the jh02 and that's what i use to kind of set in place the beauty marks so that they don't move also it helps them be like less intense if they're ever like too deep oh my gosh i'm running out of the powder so now we're gonna move on to lips so for lips uh, this isn't new. I'm going to use the NYX liquid liquid the NYX lip liner in the shade club helper Next the last product that is kind of new that I'm going to try out. Oh my god This would be so cute with the dark lip. <laughs> I keep saying that in my videos. I'm like I need to just do it This is the Stila stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade Caramello And we're just gonna apply that to the middle 
very liquidy, very pretty. I'm gonna let it dry a bit. My hair keeps dripping. <laughs> it's so annoying. I like this lip a lot. Okay, and to set everything today, I'm going to be going into the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I love it, it's so good, so let's just go ahead and do it. All right, and that is it for this look, full face of new makeup. What do you guys think? I'm absolutely obsessed. I don't think you can see it as much on camera, but the blush is just making me feel just so like, ooh la la. Um, my favorite thing in this video, I think would have had to been the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I was really pleasantly surprised and um, it had cover, like I, I'm gonna go buy it like going to go buy the full size when I run out of that little thing because that was so good I'm also surprised about the Stila liquid lipstick it's so pretty it dried down so pretty and the fact that it looks really good with my favorite lip liner is a plus I also really like the Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette so pretty so pigmented such good formula i'm so happy i got my hands on it and i can't wait to play with other shades i also did like the pastel dream liner it is very pastel like you can see it in person i feel like on camera it's harder but it's a light pink and but i like how subtle it is i do like the blush shade too i mean like i said i just love it i think i look like i'm blushing and i love this look i really really do this is just this is me this is so me so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel let me know if you guys have tried any of these products if you love them if you hate them let me know down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye